Hey, 30 Minute Marketers, Gary Baker here with you. In this quick video, I want to show you Groove Video. Today is August 8, 2020, and Groove Video has just been released into the beta of Groove Funnels. So even inside your free account, which currently you get Groove Pages, Groove Sell, Groove Affiliate, now you have access to Groove Video. Link in the description if you don't have a free account yet. Go ahead, click on that link in the description, sign up, get your free Groove Funnels account, and follow along. So here we are going to check out Groove Video. So Groove Video opens up in the dashboard. You have your statistics pane here, impressions, uniques, finishes, watch time in seconds. Then you have your actual videos here, and then you have videos and integrations. It says here you can add 14 more videos. So currently you can add 15 videos into the Groove Funnels Groove Videos application. But take note, before you add your videos, you also have to add integrations. Currently in your free account, you need a storage account. And the only integration for storage currently is S3. That's Amazon S3. The encoding, you need an encoder. The encoding options that you have are coconut.co and encoding.com. I've actually set up coconut.co as well as utilizing Amazon S3. To do that, you have to set up your integrations. So for example, you, if you wanted to add Amazon S3, you would need to name that, enter a key, a secret key, and the region. I'm not going to go into the details in this video because that's more in depth and detailed and I just want to show you a quick look inside because this has just been released in beta. But if you wanted to set this up, you would need to do a few things. First, you would need to generate these keys and set up your region. So as a hint, go to Amazon AWS. If you don't have an account, you would need to set one up. Then you would need to go under Identity and Access Management, and you would need to set up your groups, users, and your roles. Again, not going to go into the detail, but I will eventually do a video showing you exactly how to do that. Then once you have set up all the users and groups and roles inside of your IM or Identity and Access Management, what you will see is under Amazon S3, you will see that Groove Video then will be able to create a bucket as well as a folder, and it will actually store your video under your Amazon S3 account. Now, back to integrations under encoding, when you set up your encoder for coconut.co, which is the one that I am testing, the one that I'm using here in my free account, you will need to name that integration and set up an API key. To do that, you just need to go to coconut.co, set up a new account, it is free, and then you will see that the encoder will be connected here, and you do that under API. Grab your API key, and then once you upload, you will see that they have a job here set for the encoder, and you will see that inside of your Groove Video account. So again, those are the two integrations that you need to set up, your encoding and your storage, and then when you go back to your videos, you will see that there's a video right here. So quickly, how does this look when you actually add the video? We'll go through the process real quick again. You'll click on Add Video. You'll create a new video, test one, two, three, four, five. Video description, test one, two, three, four, five. Of course, name this what makes sense to you. We'll go ahead and click Create. Here you'll see that the name and the description we entered. You'll select the storage. Mine is my S3 Amazon account. We'll go ahead and we will select a folder here or you can create a new folder. We'll create a new folder real quick, 30mm test groove, test one, two, three, four, five, just so you can see the creation here. Then you will select an encoder, that is my coconut.co account that I've integrated under the integration options. Then I will upload a video, drag and drop, or click here to select a file from the computer. We'll grab this file. Now here where it looks like it's not doing anything, you actually have to click the upload video button, then that will start uploading the video. Once the video is uploaded, the encoding will start. Once the encoding is finished, you will get process and complete. Your video has been uploaded. You can see a preview of your video, which you press play, you can see it playing right there. Now you walk through the rest of the options, which is display. 
They have responsive and fixed. Under settings, you have here the ability to set the settings, a splash image, a logo. Show controls on or off. You can see the controls have gone away there. You can toggle it back. Controls come back. Mute on start. You have that ability to turn on mute on start. Select skin color. This option doesn't seem to, oh, it is changing right here. So the skin here, see it's green. If you go back here, you can see it's white. Click it again, it'll go back to red, green. So you have red, green, and white. You can see that changing as I click this. Auto play on load. You can uh, do a show overlay title right there. Toggle that off. Then you have call to actions here. You can create a new call to action. For example, if you wanted to add a banner, text overlay, text overlay with CTA, we'll go ahead and we will add a text overlay right here. How about a text overlay with CTA? Here, display from hours, minutes, and seconds, display till. We will display from three seconds to six seconds, a text headline, text here. Here, enter your URL. We'll go ahead and just enter 30minutemarketing.net, create that. That did not seem to work. So let's try a banner. Go ahead, click next. Let's see, display this at three seconds. Choose an image. Of course, this is gonna access our images inside of our image library. We'll go ahead and use the 30 minute marketing logo. Select that, enter a URL. Of course, we'll go ahead and go with 30minutemarketing.net. Show a skip button, let's go with that. We'll click create. Okay, so the banner is working. The other call to action didn't work, so that is a bug. Remember again, August 8, 2020. This is still in beta, just like all of GrooveFunnels down here, GrooveFunnels is currently in beta. So if you see bugs, report them. If you have features, request them. But in this case, understand the beta principle that we are all beta testers. They are giving you a free account. Again, the link is in the description. You can sign up for that free account right now and you can get access to the beta and be a beta tester, part of the growing community. Or if you choose to upgrade, you get access to all these tools for a low one-time price currently. Again, this is August 8th, 2020. So if you were to upgrade, you would get access to all these tools and future tools for a one low time price. We'll continue here, end action, just end the video or loop it from the beginning. We'll go ahead and just end the video and we will save and exit. Now you can see here we have a new video, test one, two, three, four, five. Let's go back and check our Amazon S3 account and see what happened there. So here in our Amazon S3, you can see we only have one video. We'll go ahead and refresh this right here. And to do that, we'll go back to the folder. So Amazon S3, go back to Groove Video, videos one, five, four, six. Groove test, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and refresh that again. There we go, a little bit of trial and error and clicking around and a refresh. We have test one, two, three, four, five. And then we have our video right there. So now let's go and check the other integration, which is the coconut.co encoder. We'll go ahead and refresh that. Now we have two jobs there. They are completed. So now let's go back to Groove Video. Back inside of Groove Video, we have our two videos. Now what do we do with it? Well, we are given an embed code. We'll simply copy that code. Now we will go over and use this on our Groove Pages account or our Groove Apps account inside of our Groove Funnels account. And to do that, we click on the Groove Funnels icon here. Go back into Groove Pages. Here we have a site right here. We'll go ahead, open the editor. And let's just say that we want to drop this video right into this page. We would scroll down. Eventually, I do think they will have an integrated media option right here, so it'll just be a drag and drop. But for now, you scroll down to other, grab code embed, drop that right in here. Then when you click on embed your code, you will get the settings cog right here. Here is where you will copy that or paste that code that you copied in right there. Go ahead and save that. 
You can see that it embedded the video right there. We will go ahead and we will publish this. That will be saved and published right there, content saved. We'll click on the link where they are hosting it on our Groove Pages account. And now you can see the video. Of course, there is some formatting issues here, but the video is embedded and it is working. We'll go ahead and quickly play it to check out the banner. So it's playing and then three seconds or so, there is our banner right there. There's our skip button. So if we were to click skip, it would keep playing. If we were to refresh this and try again, let's see if the link on our banner works. We'll go ahead, press play. In about three seconds, there's our banner. As you can see, our banner is clickable. If we were to click our banner, it will redirect us to a web page. And that web page in this case is 30minutemarketing.net, a squeeze page that I have. But as you can see right there, the video now I kept playing. So there are some formatting issues on the Groove Pages with the embedded code. Of course, we could play with that inside of our Groove Pages. But the point I wanted to show you was here, Groove Video is available even in your free account. You can see here the statistics. Doesn't look like those are updating. So under Analytics, the analytics aren't updating yet. So that is a bug. As a Groove Funnels beta tester, we can go ahead and report that bug but it is working. We are able to upload our videos with the integrations that you need, which are Amazon S3 and coconut.co. If you're using a free account, if you have a paid account, you get 100 gigabytes of storage to include encoding. So make sure you check that out right here by clicking this upgrade to pro button. And right here, you can check out all the awesome features as well as the price, the current price for the lifetime access Again, August 8th, 2020, Groove Funnels is in beta, so you have the chance right now to join for a lifetime one-time payment. You get lifetime access. Link in the description, grab your free account. Check this out, see if it's something you like. If you have any comments, drop those in the comments. I'll be sure and more than happy to answer them. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. 30 minute timer here on the end screen. Click that timer, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content just like the videos you see here on the end screen. Click those, keep watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.